channel. My name is Phoenix and this is another Star Trek Online video, but it's a slightly different one because we are going to be doing a Foundry mission. Um, if you watch Behind the Pips, I had uh, had a discussion with Admiral Aaron over uh, the Foundry and uh, some things about uh, his uh, his little mini-series that he's got going on here. Um, so today I'm going to be doing Extinction. Now you probably have seen um, if if you watched the Foundry Roundtable, they they did do his mission. Uh, I have not watched it, um, and uh, and Admiral Aaron had watched it and he had made some changes to the mission. So I think I think what the one I'm going to be playing is hopefully the the final version of the uh, the mission. Um, <clears throat> uh, one thing I do have to do is apologize directly to Admiral Aaron. I apologize. I have not played your mission at all this is the first time I'm going to be doing it um, you know during the holiday season um, I kind of just did nothing <laughs> unfortunately that's the reason why I haven't done this um, although I uh, I will actively promote it um, he Admiral Aaron does have a contest coming out or uh, has a contest out already um, for this one um, if you play the mission and then you review it, um, you just put your at handle in, I believe, the description, and uh, and and you're entered in the contest. Uh, I will put a link in the description below for the uh, uh, contest. But be but beware that uh, this video is uh, probably going to be around the time when the contest is closing. So please, uh, if you do want to enter do it so now I go in and do the mission and have some fun um, this is not a review of the mission whatsoever uh, on my end it's not a review um, this is just to play have fun with it and um, and if I, I think the, the foundry roundtable probably um, dove deep in, into the foundry mission uh, a lot more than what I would do I'm just gonna do a playthrough I'm gonna have fun with this um, now, if you do watch Behind the Pips uh, video, uh, we did do the first 10 minutes or so of the mission. Um, so I will sort of bore you with that bit here, but uh, I'll try and, and, and make it fun and exciting as much as I can. So without further ado, let us start the mission. Okay, so Admiral Aaron here is asking us for an answer. Um, so... Uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, Admiral. I'm not prepared to give you an answer just yet. We should discuss your proposal in person. So let's do that. Agreed. Being born the uh, the yacht perdition. All right. I'll see you shortly. And we'll energize. Energize. Let's begin the mission. All right. As we can see here, the uh, yacht has taken some damage, which is uh, more than expected. All right. Welcome aboard. Uh, to the Admiral Yacht Perdition, Phoenix. All right. Um, <laughs> Admiral, the bridge is on fire. <laughs> Let's close that. <laughs> uh, Admiral, I doubt this is over. I will hold that title. Uh, what? I doubt once this is over, I will hold that title. Okay, sorry. Uh, dyslexic. While I'm patient to get in our way, I know why you want to meet in person to discuss strategy. However, there are pressing matters to attend to first. Will you put those darn fires out? Yeah, so let's do that. All right, so we got to go get a fire extinguisher. All right, now let's uh, use the fire extinguisher to uh, quell these fires here. Ooh, that one got to. I like the. Uh, I like how everything is uh, on fire almost. All right, and and one more. Oh, one more. There we go. All right, good. Uh, the last bout of Kazon ships knocked our warp drive. Communication and shields are also offline. We have fortunate to run into each other out here. Before we discuss our next steps, we need to get to these critical systems back online. Uh, a serendipitous coincidence uh, for cert uh, for certain admiral. All right, he smirks. Continue. All right, sir. I believe I can be assistance here. I can assist with the repairs of the warp drive. The tactical officer can assist with the repairs to the shields. 
Uh, I have heard you are quite skilled art, art of communication if you like to take the console. All right. Uh, you are. Now yeah, let's get to work. <clears throat> uh, okay, so continue. All right, so whoop. this is my station. Yes, yes, it is. Take it. And this is my station. Yes, tactical officer, take that station and repair the console. All right, port drivers back online. Sweet. Uh, life support for sections three and four. Uh, shields back online only 50%. Okay, continue to assist until they're fully recovered. I have a feeling we'll need them. Yes, we will. All right. Uh, British communication law at priority one communication Starfleet command wide yellow alert unanswered hail USS North Star Captain Lyon uh, encrypted communication unknown and for Captain Jan Dark Rider of the USS uh, Alinsky Kurnuppi I always get that wrong okay so interesting all right so how's it going over there do you require any assistance uh, being slow restored or uh, <laughs> I'm not reading your private messages or anything like that. <laughs> uh, just a few more minutes. Okay. Uh, access communication one. Uh, Admiral Nukarmara has initiated fleet wide. Yellow alert fleet intelligence has picked up some alarming reports from Voth academic circles. Use caution if approaching any Voth. Okay. Communication two. Admiral, stand down. We can discuss the matter further aboard the North Star from Captain Lyon. Oh, let's go with Captain uh, number three. Okay. Encrypted communication. Please enter security code. Uh, to get the security code, answer the riddle below. You will always find me in the past, but I can be created in the present, but the future can never pollute me. What am I? Uh, I would say history. Uh, Ambassador Miley, Aaron, I am contacting you on the secure channel. I'm not sure how long I I have, but we need help. We are, and it was terminated. Ooh. And Jan Darkrider, as ordered by Fleet Admiral Aaron, this captain is patrolling the Borg debris field located in the Silurian sector of the Delta Quadrant. This captain finds biding time in the patrol mission incredibly tedious. However, uh predictions based on analysis of your personality and behavioral profile suggest that you uh, have a hidden strategic objective for this captain's presence in this sector. This captain reports no activity, Borg, Voth, or otherwise in the civilian sector is standing by. Alright, so let's close that. And let's go here. And tap our comm badge. Oh. Okay, on her inbound, channel's cut out. Intruder alert, okay. Seal of all decks. Species 329, Kazon have broken through the force field, phasers ready. Alrighty. And we're gonna shoot a whole bunch of Kazon. Oh crap, I have my snowblower out. <laughs> I don't want that. I gotta switch those weapons soon. And pow. Oh, come on. I'm supposed to knock him on his ass. There goes my character, or my uh, science officer. Science officer's lays laying down on the job. Oh, finally! Oh, and I just go down. Ha <laughs> uh, ha Come on, dude, get me up. All right, there we go. Dispatch of this last case on fairly quickly. Let's hope, anyways. 
Alright, well, I don't know where he is. He just appeared on me. Ah, there he is. Oh man, he's healing. Why is this guy healing? No, you're not allowed to heal. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to switch that out with my Omega Force rifle. Oops. All right, time to bring out the, the drones of death. There we go. Now he's down. Wow. So much trouble for one little Kazon guy. Oh. Come on, get me up, people. Oh, I might as well just do this. It'll be easier. I'd go kill things. Ah, crap. Oh, man. This is taking forever. That hurt. And come oh, you healed, you son of a jerk. And come on, almost dead. That one died. Thank God. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, man, what a pain in the ass that was. All right. It's time to be talking in the ready room. Okay, let's go to the ready room. Man, this is one messy ready room. All right. Uh. Oh, he... Decided to transport. Okay. Uh, too long, my friend. We are. Why are we meeting like this? Uh, this the fleet wide yellow alert uh, that was issued in response to the Voth entering Allied space shows they have not honored the agreement under which Starfleet allowed them to take my child uh, in the first place. Uh, oops. Uh, where's the information coming from? About a month ago, I started receiving cryptic communications. Really, from the cooperative, to me, the communications were between the cooperative ambassador, Miley, and myself. Uh, the early communications were quite promising. There were there was talks of a new wave of social identity and the more progressive, th uh, free-thinking attitude sweeping through Voth Empire. Admittedly, it appeared to be gaining momentum at a rate uh, we've not observed in our uh, xenocultural studies. I tugged at his shirt. I started to come to terms with the idea of giving... Uh, giving up my child, even its very existence was thrust upon me. Uh, for a father, this is a very hard uh, thing for me to deal with. However, I knew this was this was for the better. A few weeks ago, I started receiving fewer updates. The updates I, re start, I received started to contain isolated reports uh, that a new faction of Voth had emerged. At first, this was not a concern. With civilization's advancement, there will always be those for you who use fear to undermine progress. Okay. 
Last week I received an update that the Pantheon of Doctrine had seized control of the Voth Ministry of Elders. The ministry is now under direct control of their new leader, Tulak. Uh, several days ago we received a communication from the Cooperative Ambassador Miley. The message was a call for help. With the help of the Cooperative, we are able to trace the transmission to the planet several thousand light years uh, from the Necrid Expanse. Alright, so what are you proposing about this? It is time to take swift action to rescue citizens of the Alliance take held hostage by the Voth. The time for the debate and diplomacy is done. With the help of the Cooperative, we are mobi mobilizing a rescue mission. We will catch the Voth off guard, rescue the Cooperative Ambassador, uh, Tova XL and my child. Uh, yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, this is where our friends in the cooperative come in handy. The cooperative will leverage, leverage the distraction created by Starfleet's di diplo uh, diplomatic convoy. They are currently off planet en route to the Dyson Sphere for negotiations. The cooperative will ensure the Pantheon of Doctrine will st uh, stay off planet until our rescue mission is complete. Antipis, uh, Antipis, uh, can't even talk today. Lock security in the Pantheon of Doctrine headquarters. While the elders are away, we are uh, we will slip and in and rescue the hostages held there. We will uh, we do not have a moment to lose. Require your assistance. Will you help us? Um, yeah, I stand with you, Admiral. All right. Let's see here. Oh, we got pick up data pad. Doctrine. Put down that bad. These are all like quotes, I think, from the TV show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's from the Battle Zone. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's ponder the situation. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. We're good. Oh. And here we got our, our friend, our mystic guy here. It's time for us to intervene. I am communicating with you telepathically. Admiral Aaron is not aware of your presence, uh, of our presence. It would not be wise to draw attention to our communication. Hello again. Uh, Admiral is turning out to be quite bothersome. We are optimistic, but he refuses to see the errors of his way. We must take immediate action to correct the timeline. Timeline. Uh, not unlike our enemies, the Sphere Builders, we will, we too have the ability to see multiple timelines. While the Sphere Builders meddle in the timelines in hopes to destroy your future, we want to help you by guiding you down the right path. Uh, uh, let's see, Desire or Destiny. Oh, oh, excuse me. While our actions can be interpreted in many ways, trust that we are only acting out of a greater need. The universe needs people like you, and we are acting to safeguard the future of the Federation. A wrong choice by such a pivotal force in the universe can have dire consequences, not only for you, but for the entire universe. Uh, so you don't trust us to make the right decision. I respect your uh, anomaly. I can't spot. I can't speak. Uh, the choice you make is the very stage you could have very dire consequences. What your people are willing to do is show you how the outcome of the path of self-destruction upon which Admiral Aaron is currently set. You... Uh, and alter the path for which you, we require your intervention. We can telepathically create experience and share them with you. Uh, to not uh, to you, these experiences uh, will feel real, uh, every bit real, unlike your hollow deck. Shall we begin? Uh, I do have reservations, but what's the harm? Uh, the cranny disappear. Continue. Look around going on bright light will you join us yes excellent let's get this operation started understood tap combat so I take it that we are in this illusion now uh, detected a vessel inbound at high warp we are unable to get a clear reading of it as the vessel is using some sort of scattering field uh, we'll be returning to the ship shortly energize All right, so let's do a scan. We have a lock, sir. It is the Snore Star. Open hailing frequencies. Greetings, Phoenix. I became aware of your mission to follow Admiral Aaron into the Delta Quadrant. I come to offer my counsel and assistance 
as an old friend to the Admiral, but he is ignoring my hails. I suspect he is about to embark on a dangerous and unsanctioned mission to infiltrate Voth territory. If he doesn't lose his life, not to mention the life of his crew, on the foolhardy quest, he will most definitely forfeit his career in Starfleet. I've been able to gather information on the Admiral's intentions. Uh, choo -choo -choo. I have nothing to report on the matter. Phoenix, I should remind you that you sh that you sh should should you offer any support to the Admiral uh, on this mission, you will be charged with aiding and abetting a fugitive from the Federation. <clears throat> Thank you for your counsel. Close the damn channel. Sir, the North Star has raised shields and locked phasers on us. Red alert, shields up. Oh, you're gonna push me away? Aww. Oh. Alright. Hopefully we didn't actually destroy the North Star. Oh, there goes the captain's yacht. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> On view screen. We suffer some damage because of the attack. Uh, we do require some assistance with your life support systems. Care to handle land? Uh, agreed. Oops. Alright, so beam over. Pair team. Uh, inbound ship scans are showing ships of the Voth design. Evasive maneuvers. Uh, they're hailing us. Okay, so put them through. Attention, endotherms. Uh, surrender now and we will allow you to live uh, out the remainder of your lives on the Voth prison planet. Voth captain, you are trespassing in Alliance territory. There are other ways to silence you, feeble mammal. <laughs> Not today, dino. Uh, oh. Uh, crap. There we go. Mm. Done. Oh, we got the big one to deal with. Oh, shields are going down quickly. There's another one coming towards us. Warhead! Oh no, not Warhead. Okay. Alright, awesome. I think we got everything done here. Yeah. Our escort to the Voth planet is ready and waiting. I'm sending at the rendezvous, con rendezvous coordinates. Ah, tongue is tied today. Uh, if in the team. Okay, yeah. So coordinate received on our. Okay. All right, <clears throat> all right. So I have to go this way. There we go. So we meet with the cooperative. <clears throat> oh, hello. All right. Uh, we are inside a poor cube. Wait, strike that for the reason we are coming in. We are inside the cooperative cube. <clears throat> All right, get them on the comms. Don't worry, Phoenix. Cooperative Cube can navigate the transwarp network more efficiently and safely than we could. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Yeah, it makes me a little uneasy. It's hailing us on screen. Prepare to be assimilated. Just kidding. <laughs> I could not resist making the joke. I bet. I just thought it. I would like to know we're about to go to transwarp. If everything goes smoothly, we should be arriving in. Hokath in the matter of minutes. All right, and I say drone, drones don't have a sense of humor. All right, one, two, three, go. Is there something I need further explanation than that? All right, there we are. So, sir, our long range scans detect that when we Entered in the transport contract, we were followed by fourth Voss vessels. However, once they entered, uh, they used their spatial displacement technology to mask their presence. 
as this we continue to make our way through the transwarp hub ahead uh, we have signal for assistance several collective ships are on their way okay understood uh, I've been reviewing the USS Voyager's tactical logs on the vault and they just I discovered something that we can that can be of use well, we're all ears use a space traveling technology called spatial displacement which functionally doubles as a highly advanced cloaking device it shifts object uh, from single individuals to entire star sh ships slightly out of phase with the space-time continuum I believe we can disrupt the ship wise spatial displacement uh, systems by altering our phasers to a dispersion frequency of approximately 1.5 gigahertz excellent suggestion all right I supposed to uh, fire we have inbound Voth red alert shields up And down they go. Oh, that was that was the first wave. Okay. Apparently, I got a little ahead of myself there. Oh, you jerk! There we go. Continue forward. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like how, how he did this. The trans warp hub. It's pretty cool. Much more prettier than it was in the show, that's for sure. Uh, then, however, we were scans to discover more Voss ships. Um, uh, we shall defeat them. Never get up, never surrender. I love those titles. Those are great titles. All right, <clears throat> pro captain, Captain Frisky's here. We are <laughs> we are getting an urgent communication from the from our home where it seems a fleet of Voth vessels have warped into orbit. My regrets, Admiral, but we're defending our home world must be a first priority. We are redirecting most of our vessels. Two our two cooperative vessels will accompany you to the Hokan. Uh, Hokath, and we calculated 23% reduction in the probability of success, but 58% of the odds are still in your favor. All right, never tell me the odds, damn it, Friskies. Engage. <laughs> All right, take us in. Sweet, that was pretty cool. I, I like that one. That was, I liked how he did uh, the tunnels. Uh, Borg Cooperative Captain, I suggest you uh, we get a move on. The Cooperative has calculated the best route through the asteroid field to prevent the Voss from spotting us. Our scans from the system show the uh, show the show the high concentration of iron ore in the asteroids is having an effect on scanners. It's limited to effectiveness within 10 kilometers. Uh, we need to keep at least a minimum of 10 kilometers of distance between the Voth and us at all times. All right, understood. Download the route. Alrighty. So we head to our first beacon. 
and then we go to our second. I'm confused with this one. Whoa, down we go. that's supposed to be up or down I don't might have to just engage with the with the VAW because uh, I don't know what's going on here I don't know if this is up or down oh there we go uh Okay, agreed. Okay. Uh, okay, fire everything. Two. We got a ward repair ship that just went down. Automated defense system. Another defense system. And the third one. Is that all of them? I think so. We got surrounded there. We just like took them all out. Alright, I suggest we initiate the subnucleonic transfer to the Voss satellite. The transfer should overload the primary or planetary satellite network and allow us to beam down. Alright, understood. Alright, so let's do it. Initiate the overload. Done. Alright. Alright. So let's, uh, okay, so let's beam down. All right, welcome to the paradise, welcome to Paradise Phoenix. I wish I could tell you things are about to get easier for us. One second, as soon as you can reactivate the holographic ceiling now. Don't worry about us, Admiral. Now, badge beep, Mercury to Star uh, Fleet, Admiral Phoenix, go ahead. Sir, we are under attack by two Voss ships. We are currently engaged in evasive maneuvers. Your orders. Uh, disable them. Uh, shows our troops landing five kilometers from your position. Okay. Sir, the Voss are overwhelming us. Shields are down to 8%. We must retreat. We must beam you aboard. Uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, just retreat. Okay. You have your orders. Okay, best of luck. We have work to do. What are your orders? Uh, <laughs> only one order. We fight. Okay, I can do that. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's go and kill some dinos. Whoa, look at this. This is like an all-out brawl. Haha. <laughs> nice. I love it. Alright. Okay, now what? The battle of okay. We need to find out how many Vothar land is, uh, and what kind of weapon defenses they have. Okay. Uh agree you're not going to find anything without a tricorder. We jam, uh, we jam the sensors and jam in there. That's how it works. Okay. All right. So we gotta run back. A lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. Okay. Let's do a scan. All right. We have inbound. Continue. 
Retreat. Oh, that would be a good reason why. Holy crap. Oh, I got wrecked. Wrecked. Everyone retreat, fall back to the base. Okay. Retreat. Speed force field before the Voth come into uh, strolling into their base. Understood. question oh, right there find the glowy things you know this by now all right do I talk to these no I have to return to Admiral Aaron where is he somewhere over here there there we go uh, Starfleet this is to look of the Pantheon of Doctor and we have trapped your communications array or tapped into your communications array and are moments away from breaking through your force field you have erected around your base uh, the way we see it you only have one option here surrender I'm going to to us uh, to us to be punished for his crimes against the Voth if you cooperate you uh, we will let you and your people leave this planet and return to your precious federation if you do not we will show you no mercy we will kill every last one of you We'll hunt you down to your families, uh, down your families, and exterminate them as well. We will not stop until every endothorm uh, from your Federation is extinct. You invade, you invade our world, and expect us to fall. The line is drawn here, this far, and no farther. <laughs> we, we have five minutes to comply. Radio silence. Uh, are making it out of here alive? We do not be uh, by by two locks terms, and they are. 0.01 percent. The high probability the boss will break through the force field and kill us all. Uh, that was not a good plan. I do not understand all my simulations. So that we will be a quick mission, get in and get out before, with no casualties. We were supposed to catch the Voth off guard, but for some reason they saw us coming. Uh, so no plan. Great. Uh, to save lives, not take them. Uh, it was not your best plan. We could find a way out of this. Uh, we have less than two minutes bef uh, left before the Voth come barging in uh, into our holdout. Uh, what shall we do? Uh, but we can see this through the end. I'm, only, I'm reminded of a quote from a book I once read. Most things will be okay eventually, but not everything will be. Sometimes you'll put up you'll put up a good fight and lose. Sometimes you'll hold on really hard and realize there's no choice but to let go. Except it's a small, quiet room. Uh, brave enough by shield strained Admiral. It is time for me to accept I have made a grave error of judgment here. Uh, was my compulsion to rescue that innocent child worth the lives of so many others? Would I have done so for uh, any other suffering being in the universe? I'm just grasping at a chance to redeem myself before the end with a grand and victor uh, virtuous act. Uh, it was my sense of duty to that child so selfish. Can I really be so bold as to call it fatherly love? There is no other pearl to be found in the dark folds of life. Victor Hugo and Les Miserables. Uh, what do you mean before the end? Life as I know it is already over. Now, Lord of the Fields, that's an order. Understood. Uh, I have to go to Lord of the Force Field. To luck, we accept your terms. I'm coming out. I'm returns in and recites the following. Uh, out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from the pole to pole. I thank whoever gods may be for the unconquerable soul. In the fell, in the fell clutch of circumstances, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chances, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms the horror of the shade of the shade. And yet, to the menace of the years, feels, uh, finds and shells find me unafraid. Uh, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Invictus William Ernest Henley. 
All right, excellent. We have taken Admiral Aaron into custody. Send out the representatives of the Alliance to witness justice. Uh, I don't know where I will begin. <clears throat> All right, so what's going on here? I think I think I'm gonna execute poor Admiral Aaron. Oh, that does not look good. That really does not look good. Uh, stop this. Oh, he is being burned alive. Oh. I'm uh, Aaron Tovexal. You are accused of heresy against doctrine and the crime against the both race. Uh, I have convened with the council and reviewed your evidence in front of me. I will now deliver judgment and the consequences for your actions. Aaron Tovey, you are guilty of heresy against doctrine and crimes against the Baloch people. You are both sentenced to death. Uh, Phoenix of the Mercury, I am not unreasonable and do not hold you accountable for your superior's treason. It is the judgment of this court that you were merely following orders and releasing you and your crew. Would you be uh, would be an act of good faith towards the Alliance? Will you be returning to your ship and leave your territory? It would be in your best interest if we never saw you again. Uh, I don't like that. Admiral. No. You monsters, you'll pay for what you are doing here today. Continue. Silence, Imperator. We will deal with you in a moment. Mutaro, my son, I tried. Ah! Blood curling scream. Yeah, that would be a blood curling scream if you were on fire. Moves his helmet and looks over to you. On your mark, I will cause a distraction. Flee as fast as you can. Get everyone out of here. The Voth have no intention of honoring what they told you. Understood. Give the signal. Run shards of possibility. Activate. Activate shards of possibility. Okay. And escape. All right, so we have to escape here. Okay. Now we have to escape further back. With Miley here. And again, to the shuttle. I would, yeah, reach the shuttle, yeah. I would assume, yeah. There we go. All aboard. Punch it. Because we can't actually go into shuttle, so. Attention endotherms, we will allow you to leave and live the remainder of your lives on one condition you return to the Alliance and tell them what happened here today. Get us the hell out of here. Close the channel. Escort of death. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, it's a trap the Voth are using. An inverse graviton burst. The burst is destabilizing our warp fields, and preventing us from leaving the system. Beep beep. Status report. Sir, the Voth vessel are using burst graviton burst on us. I'm afraid our warp drive is offline. Uh, how long to the warp drive? We have inbound. We are counting on five, ten. No, wait, twenty Voth ships. Red alert. Ray shields. Arm everything. Soft belly mammals. You will pay for the murder of the elders of this abom by this abomination. Uh, more power shields and fire on my command. Call for assistance as well. Blocking case. Okay. <laughs> Pattern attack tugs three. Divert all power. Shields are down. I can find my way out of this. I know I can. See, we fought our way out. 
There's no need. Interaction. Okay. Let's give it our all, boys. Ah, no. <laughs> Three seconds and I was down. <laughs> you were dead. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. Respawn. <clears throat> the simulation has concluded. As you can see, siding with the Admiral with the Admiral will have dire consequences. The Voth do not stop with you. Uh, that was just the beginning. The Voth eventually defeat the Collective, uh, leaving the Cooperative Homeworld in ruin. Within the next year, the diplomacy breaks down and the Voth launch an attack on the Alliance. That results in the total destruction of Earth. This is a critical blow for the Federation, one that can never uh, recover for, uh, from. Uh, we're not supposed to the future to happen. Let's know how what we could do happen if we decide not to uh, help the Admiral. Okay. All right. We are sending the Mindscape. This is a scenario we have just refused the captain his request and are back on the ship. Fresh start. All right. So let's start this all over again. I understand that you have some reservations about my plan, but after everything we have been through together, I want Aaron takes a deep breath. I, to refuse offer your assistance was just rude. Admiral, channel closed. All right, use the tractor beam. Hold on, let my ship go. That's an order. Um, I'm here to under orders from Starfleet to gain intelligence on your rogue mission. Uh being aboard my ships ship a high warp y'all alert can you tell me who or what it is yeah thank you for having Admiral Aaron for us we will be taking him back to earth to help him recover um, acting abnormally a few weeks ago he started making strange orders and requests he spent all hours of the day reviewing ship logs and sensor data he started to cite irrational theories or poetry on the better days I urge him making an appointment with the ship's counselor he replied in equally cryptic fashion even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise uh, I relieved him of command last week when he o opened fire on a Voth vessel we were escorting through Alliance space before we could get him to sick bay he broke free of his escort and stole the captain's yacht we chased him around the moons of Zal and ram Azid system to this very spot okay I am grateful to you for being able to catch up with him before he could do any more harm. We could finally bring him in and get to the bottom of his erratic behavior. Uh, when the Admiral is briefed. Sorry to interrupt you, but our long-range sensors to get Kazon vessels on an airset course. And they appear to be coming in with weapons hot. Uh, what's more with the Kazons? Take down the Kazons. And these Kazons are going down quickly. Sweet. There's a Voth heavy fighter. What is that doing there? Alright, uh, this is Commander Ithkar of the Voth Evolutionary Force. We have been listening to your conversation and determined you require assistance. Uh, what are the Voth Evolutionary Forces and why are you listening on our conversations? We will explain shortly, but first we need to defeat the Kazon. Okay, understood. We, oh, we got more. Okay, that would be why. We're like, we just defeated them. <laughs> Even down. Oh, Kazon. Bunch of rats, man. Alright, there we go. Surrender your vessel, prepare to be boarded. 
Uh, not to say, Kazon. Target their weapons and systems and fire. Let's destroy these guys. These guys are annoying me. Yeah, that was a short battle. <laughs> yeah, two, a three Voth. Okay, you fought very well in the Therm. Okay, so tell me more about the Voth evolutionary person. Why are you listening into our conversations? Uh, your superiors are being advised right now on who we are and why you are under surveillance. Okay, understood. That doesn't really say much. Flash forward to two months. Okay, two months ahead. Alright, so two months from that point on, welcome back to the Soul System Fleet Admiral. We are busy preparing to receive the Voth Diplomatic Envoy. Beep beep. Uh, we have just received notification that Voth are minutes away from entering the Soul System. Please coordinate the escort of the Voth diplomats with Captain Lyon of the North Star. And Fleet Admiral, do remember that the Voth are not familiar with our customers or procedures. Just open up the gates and we'll figure out the rest. Understood. Ah, there's the Jim Slade. Ah, <laughs> signal the North Star. Uh, pleasure to see you again. Uh, likewise, will Admiral Aaron be joining us? I'm sorry to say, Phoenix, but the Chief Medical Officer aboard the North Star has unable to treat the Admiral's condition. Do not fret. The best Federation medical professionals are currently attending to him aboard Earth Space Dock. They are confident that they that there will be able to relieve some of his symptoms but it will take some time to be honest I am not sure he will serve in Starfleet anymore the Admiral has been through a lot in the past 10 years the Chief Medical Officer has recently diagnosed him with uh, Edomoronic Syndrome I don't what the hell is that what is that is a degenerative neurological disorder that causes de deorientation of particular synapse pathways uh, not unlike dementia, the condition may cause confusion, delusion, hallucination, irritability, impulsiveness, and even eventually death. Uh, it could take several years to develop and several more before it proved deadly. A treatment of choice is paradoxon, uh, through which uh, through this it only relieves the symptoms. Genetic testing can be determined if is a person has developed this syndrome in later life. Uh, but not all persons who treat po uh, test positive would develop the condition. Okay, interesting. All right, we believe advanced syndrome was triggered by the Admiral when he was abducted by the Solene on the USS Bishop in 2399 when his Solene uh, were returning the captain to, sh to his ship. The rift intersected a plasma conduit. It is possible, plausible that the caused a small uh, structural defect and found in his parental lobe was abducted by the Solene. <laughs> uh, adrift variants and redacted 13. Oh, okay. It might explain it in redacted 13. I, I did get confused with that one. All right. Uh, communication from the Borg Cooperative Escort. The Voth Envoy arrives. Okay. Should I raise the shields? No. <laughs> no, hold on to your butts. All right. Stand by. All right, open a channel. Uh, Captain Lion of Fleet Admiral Phoenix, I am pleased uh, to introduce you to Ambassador Tov Excel of the Voth Evolutionary Fourth. Sea View Ambassador Excel is agreeable to see both again. How did you become okay? Well, it's a long story, but we can discuss that later. I never thought the day would come where a species would return to Earth. We have brought our top uh, anthropologists. And archaeologists to look toward, uh, look forward to the visit Earth and digging up our past. Metaphorically speaking, of course, we at least we can uh, get the permits. <laughs> uh, we have also brought uh, members of the newly formed Ministry of Extraterrestrial Relations, and they may not have the story experience of the Federation, but trust me, they are very eager to get to work. Uh, permission from Starfleet Command. Let's proceed to Earth. See you there. Agreed. Uh, sir, I may request to indulge my scientific courtesy for a moment. 
Uh, we are about to intercept a rare celestial phenomena. I believe our guests and the crew would enjoy observing. It is a comet that, according to Starfleet records, makes its way through the solar system once every 365 years. I would like to, I would hate to pass up the opportunity. We address our course following the comet at coordinates 10 and grid 36 and begin scanning. Wonderful idea. And not too often we get to stop and appreciate the beauty of this great universe. All right. Oh. So we have to go this way and look at the comet. Oh, what a pretty comet. Scan the comet. Oh, fascinating sensor scans are recording 26 particles of the space dust per cubic meter and a class 3 comet. Well, it's certainly worthy of our attention. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reference. Log the finest. Hope your guests are impressed. Uh, log the finest. Continue. One quarter impulse. Well, I don't do anything slow. Engage. Escort the Voth. Ooh, this is cool. I like this. This is cool. Wee! Look at us fly. Fly through space. Here's the North Star. Copper Sphere. Voth. Dreadnought. Oh, where's the Jim Slade? I wanted to get a closer look at the Jim Slade. And now, for those of you who don't uh, who don't know what what uh, who the Jim Slade is or the ship, um, it is. Uh, person on Twitter and he does comics and he's got this crew aboard the Jim Slade uh, pat, attack pattern tugs I'll put a link in the description of, of his comic it is totally hilarious and it's amazing I love it I really like how he, how, uh, he made um, Earth Space Dock and, and, uh, and the Earth and whatnot. Uh, you can dock whenever you're ready. Okay, dock at the station. Okay, so we are in the landing bay of Star of the uh, shuttles. We're going to talk to Starfleet liaison officer here. All right, sir, welcome aboard the Earth Space Dock. On behalf of the United Federation Plants and Starfleet Command, we hope you have the enjoyable stay. Any required, don't hesitate. Let me know. I am uh, just a tap on the comm badge. Thank you. Where is everyone? Both and boy went to on ahead, and can you believe we have to install this ramp because Ambassador Excel brought a T Rex on board with him? That's impressive. We should be on our way. <laughs> I'll let Emma could know that you are on your way. Uh, will you proceed up the ramp? Please watch out. There are some creatures that are that were knocked into the knocked into the way by the Vulcan in quite a hurry. The distance himself from the T Rex. Not only sweaty Vulcan with those senses. <laughs> oh God. Oh dear. Okay, so let's go up here and in here. Oh, look at the T-Rex. T-Rex on their space dock. That's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> All right. Greetings, Ambassador Miley and XL, Captain Lion, and Fleet Admiral Phoenix. The Federation and myself have been awaiting this day with much, much anticipation. Welcoming the Voth to the Earth and discussing their membership in the Federation would be enough to cause for celebration. But to uncover this history as, as our long-lost brothers in an unprecedented and honor. Uh, it certainly be the alternative. <laughs> Great honor indeed, sir. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the cooperative Ambassador Miley and a skilled meteor and neighbor in the Voth in the Delta Quadrant. Uh, and recent experiences with the Voth will not bias her judgment. And indeed, it is a great pleasure to myself and benefit the Voth people, uh, both explore Mother Earth as you call it and develop re relations with the cooperative 
This shall be the ultimate test of both distant origin theory and the Voss opportunity to take their place with the galactic community. No more of this supreme race and unquestionable doctrine. Uh, that has undermined our species freedom and potential. Brought your scientists along, you must be eager to come to uh, an amenable terms. It's a great honor to participate in today's discussion. Trust that I do not hold the Voth people responsible for the recent drama scripted and directed by the uh, oh, Carnary. Oh, I can't speak today. My goodness, I am so sorry. Uh, I am only sorry that Admiral Aaron will only be here to witness this. He has a great stake in the revolution of the Voth Evolutionary Force and their future in the Federation. Uh, have you fully recovered from the violation you suffer at the hands of the uh, Carnary. Uh, the uh, I was born Phoenix, and as Camille as the uh, can't pronounce their name. I keep forgetting actions. Maybe it will. Uh, it was difficult to be sh shaken by them in the comparison of the trauma from from which I've overcome. Aaron, on the other hand, will never get a chance to attempt the future of the Carnary uh, and have crafted for him. Size. So yes, I will. I was able to visit Admiral Aaron today. It was difficult to see how the uh, early onset Emmerich syndrome, I can't pronounce that, sorry, has cut through him so insidiously. I'm afraid Voth Medical Science is presently unable to help uh, as our physiology is so different, but I have offered the Federation the resources of our labs. Good faith in today's proceedings. Security Force to Infirmary. Oh dear. Fleet Admiral, Fleet Admiral can. Can you please head to the infirmary and help calm down the Admiral Aaron? Okay, let's go. Oop. I think I may understand uh, what he was saying about the uh, issue on uh, Space Talk here with the lighting. Okay. Zero, okay. Carney. Uh, we're waiting for the serial killer to match me. No worries, maybe both. Okay. So, I suppose this, there's supposed to be JM. Something about a sandwich or something? I can't remember. It's supposed to be some sort of Easter egg. Oh, Club 47. Alright, let's take a quick peek at Club 47 before we go. Some sort of ham sandwich or something. Bouncer. Oh, ha! <laughs> Dragon 1701. There's Green Dragon. These two are both, I believe, Foundry authors. Ham Sandwich lives. Ham Sandwich. Faster to Kale. Uh, Ramel. Oh, I think she's another person. <laughs> Hashtag Kale hates me. <laughs> this is all Twitter humor, unfortunately. Uh, fan Theory Starfleet Officer. Taco Fangs. Uh... Nevadon, as Admiral Aaron explained to me, he's uh, a, a German community officer or community uh, person. DJ Borg Drone, nice, nice, nice. Crumpets, Palked, 47 T, Captain Sheon, oh god. Twerkins, Sasha Velvet, Kowalski, uh, he's a YouTuber. More Quavra Vulcan. Even more Desperate Trail. Zero? <laughs> Question mark. To Cat. Raymond Bartender. Captain Marone. Luna. Luna Cat. Ah. Let's put a lot of people in here. <laughs> Raptor Trendy. <laughs> uh, Ensign Medic. Bob Muldoon, Lieutenant Tactical Officer, Security, Confederation. I saw there's more people back here, so let's take a look at 
these people here. What, what are these names? Are they all? They're all waiting for the bathroom. Club Four Seven gas. Aw, oh, they're all just gas. Aw. Oh. That'd have been funny if they were waiting for something else. All right, uh, that's a bouncer. All right, let's let's get on with the mission here to the infirmary. All right. Start for the lieutenant, EMH, Flores. <laughs> uh, is she okay? Uh, phaser set to stun is a favor set to fun. <laughs> uh, uh, I have it from here. Okay. All right, Chief Medical Officer. Oh, there we go. Oh, and here, here's the contest winner uh, that got put in here. Uh, hey, Fleet Army Phoenix, did you you did an amazing job in handling the Iconian threat? News travels fast in the Star Base Gossip Mill. Character bio. Uh, <clears throat> Doctor Boris Re Roxidus Theopus. I, I I apologize if I butcher your name. The Vulcan answers to what if Anderson Cooper was a space base quasi military navy and not just a silver fox cable news journalist? <laughs> oh god, that's funny. The doctor's brother Supak serves a, about his vessel, but is rarely seen or heard from him and isn't allowed on away missions. Uh -huh. Uh, I always think the small call of duty beneath you, but I like your help in subduing the patient here. As you can see, he's quite uncooperative, and as I thought, he responded better to a familiar face in a command uniform. All right, it's no trouble at all. All right, calming. Let's calm you down there, Admiral. Maybe you should grab him a drink or something. Uh, sure, first round is on me. You please make your way to Club 47. Apparently there's a Voth Raptor loose in there. Please do not injure it. Just tag the Raptor and we'll be beam it back to the Voth ship. Okay. Uh, knowing Admiral, uh, Admiral Aaron, I, I, I probably should have waited, but... Eh. I, I, I thought it was fun to do anyways. Because he's got a lot of these... Oh, okay, boy, I'm glad you're here. The Raptor is scaring our guests. Please do something about it. I can't believe I'm raptor wrangling on the Earth space dock. Yep, that is true. <laughs> tag, you're it. Tag. Oh, raptor. Tag, you're it. There we go. One final thing. There's a person in the refresher who refuses to come out. Can you please get them out of there? They have caused the <laughs> lamp. Oh. Uh... Sweaty Vulcan, is it? Refresher rescue. Uh, you actually have to go in here and get him out. Time to come out. Let's go. Let's go. Knock on the refresher door. Get out of here. Bill Morgan. I'm not coming out. The T Rex intends to eat me. I clearly observed its oral glands excreting at the sight of me. An irrational being would hide himself in such a beast. I uh, said so you can come out there. Okay. Now, I don't, may not know who this guy is, but that's still funny. Alright, return to the bar. Alright, now on. Oh, there we go. First doing business with you, can I take a drink for all your hard work? Answers are in German because Navadon is the community manager of the perfect world of Europe. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know German, so. Bottoms up. Hoorah! Let's get drunk. It is time we get down to business. The Voss diplomats are wishing to start the opening discussions. Please make your way to the observation lounge below my office. We'll meet there. On my way. Oh, I can't get drunk. Nothing wrong with getting drunk every once in a while. As long as you drink responsibly. Alright, so the observation lounge just below his office. 
the bot Tyrannosaurus Rex. Kurosulu, guard, another guard. All right. Wait. Oh, right this way. This is this is it. Yeah, yeah. this is it. All right. Ooh. All right. Uh. All right. Five days later. Attention, please. The conference is about to begin. All invitees, please make your way to conference hall in the lower levels. Okay, go to. Okay, so let's head to the conference here. Are we supposed to like sit down or something? Sit. All right, honored guests, on behalf of Starfleet, I would like to express my appreciation for your attendance and patience. While the ambassadors and delegates of the Federation and Voth Evolutionary Force have been secluded in discussion to the admission of discuss the admission of the Voth into the Federation in the terms of that membership. Uh, I would also like to give a special thank you to our allies, the Borg Cooperative, the Ambassador Miley, for mediating the discussions. Continue. It is my pleasure to announce the Voth have graciously accepted the Federation's offer of membership and have become amicable, uh, uh, come to amicable terms. Applause. Yay. The Voth homeworld has recently undergone a disruptive worldwide revolutionary that has shook us to the very core. We are very proud. We are a proud and ambitious race and celebrate freedom from the uh, oppression of the tyrannical Voth Ministry of Elders. Under new leadership, we embrace uh, the belief that thrive to the galaxy and we must shed the insidious rot of isolationist and supremacist culture uh, that the self uh, agorized yoke of tyranny. The Voth evolutionary force represents the Voth culture that is shedding its uh, egoism for a humble search for truth, peace, and our place within the galaxy. The evolution, so to speak, of our culture will not happen overnight. But if anything, the Voth have are adaptable within the strength, with the strength and the integrity of the Federation at our box backs. We shall overcome this struggle. We prob we proudly adopt for our own the principle of the Charter of the United Federation of Planets. Uh, it, it turns around. <laughs> uh, looking. Okay, let's look. Look, look around. Uh, where, where, where? Oh, they're over there. I guess I have to go over there and talk to them. All right, this simulation has concluded. As you can see, signing against the admiral will have eventual outcome for, for both the Federation and the Voth. In the next year, the Voth will allow immigration, Earth, and the new era of police and core. Uh, those were all in my head. It feels so lifelike. Yes. Brace yourself, we are about to stop the mind simulation for you. Months have gone by in your actuality. Only a second has passed and missed your conversation with Admiral Aaron. Uh, we we'll get up to the reality around you. I will still be present, but Admiral Aaron will not see me. This is trippy. Yes, it is. Sea sink. <laughs> Do -do. Well, will you join us in a rescue mission? No. Flash forward three months. Flash forward. Alrighty. Alright. Hello, Phoenix. Good to see you again. You may already suspect, but this will likely be the last time you visit the Admiral. Yes, I've heard is uh, spending more time in it. Uh, sedated than not lately. Okay. Advanced quite rapidly. He is a lot of distress and quite oft and, and often requires sedation. Today, however, is a good day. He has periods of lucidity. Uh, you can speak to him now. Thank you, Doctor. What is the meaning of this intrusion? I was passing through the system and thought I'd say hello to an old friend. Glass eyed demon, I heard. <laughs> I cursed the day you slithered into my bridge. Riding away my destiny. Be gone! Uh, you're safe. It's just us. Alright. He's not doing well. Uh, Admiral Aaron, we are not aware of your presence. Uh, you've delivered a prophecy. Seed is planted in a childless mother. 
crop is reaped on the battlefield of two brothers, a bounty shared at the meeting of two fathers. A parasite saps the strength of the mother. A worm, a worm crawls into the ear of the brother. A spider poisons the meal of the father. Uh, don't you talk about fathers, you manipulative snake. Uh, I think it's a good day. Uh, good day has passed, yeah. I understand that you have asked too much of you. Uh, we could foresee this uh, stage unfolding before you, but we pressed on towards your end. We regret you are not able to understand or appreciate the great implications of your role, the lives you have saved, and the future you have ensured. Now that your ultimate design has come to fruition, please let us repay you. I will use my telepathic strength to give you a momentary gift of clarity. I will show you first the alternative future your colleague here saved you from by taking you into custody. You see that you would have doomed your son and you vainly hope to rescue. Now I offer you a second chance. I offer to leave the shattered narrative, this shattered mind. Join me in the 28th century. We will relive, uh, relieve you of the syndrome and reward you for your sacrifice, which is in touch with Admiral Aaron. Members of Phoenix experience reuniting the brothers. Uh, another reunion awaits you. Gasp aloud. Accept your mercy, prophet. To make amends, prepare to depart immediately. We cannot risk more loss. Two brothers must be uh, as one. Something is happening in his body, phasing out. Prophecy will continue as planned. Continued. And scan again. Uh, look at all the, the those mystic guys. It is done. Arrow has been relocated across the abyss. What just happened? Arrow just vanished out of in front of my eyes. Scan for the admiral. He's gone. Uh, my scans aren't picking up any signs of the transport use, but that's strange. I'm picking up tachyons. It seems the scanner picked up a surge of tachyon energy at the same time his body appeared to be disappearing could have been the Karani uh, no doubt it was well I dare say he never happened this never happened before the patient disappeared in front of my eyes what will I write in the report there will have to be an investigation the Karani said what are the Karani that doesn't make any sense uh, was always a great but complicated man yes he was uh, foundry cutscene. The cutscene will allow Admiral in the 28th century where he has been planted by the Karani. Okay. Welcome to the 28th century. Continue. Doctor, he is inbound. Understood. Once he arrives, we will begin to treat the his Anuruk syndrome. Observe. Oh, Aaron, try to remain calm. The Kurnies have transported you to the 28th century. We are the Temporal Integrity Commission, and we can be of assistance to you. As we speak, the doctor is, treat is treating your Nurmik syndrome. Okay. Uh, Captain Aaron, he is as good as new. Apart from needing a regeneration cycle, the Admiral is now in perfect health. Excellent work as always, Doctor. Now, Admiral Aaron, let's get you into some new clothes since you'll be stationed here in the 28th century. Uh, that was a relief. Uh, what a relief it is to be in uniform again. I cannot thank you enough, Doctor. What is transport and is nothing more uh, short of a miracle. Miracles are just dropping out of the sky lately. Wait till you see who has uh, been cleared for a visit. Admiral Sen uh, comes running into into the room. Observe. Father, what they told me, we would be together again in the future. I did not believe them, but here, here you are standing in front of me. Taro, my son, the words escape me. Your time of trial has ended and you need to rest now. For you have fulfilled your destiny. There is still a great deal for you to do, but first there is a great deal for you to learn. The vision of the Karani is still unfolding as we speak. Perhaps when you see, you'll be finally be able to forgive them. They need us, Father. The future awaits us. The end. That is the end of extinction.
All right, yes, clap. That's right, clap. All right, so Foundry author Admiral Aaron says, first I wish to thank you for playing the Foundry Mission Extinction. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to take this moment to thank the many people who have helped me bring the series to light. My wonderful partner, my amazing editor and co-writer, Emma, my, my tireless beta testers, the contest winner, the past Star Trek, or the past Star Trek community uh, manager, and the Star Trek Online community itself. Thank you to the cheering me on for the journey the almost 14 months it has taken me to make this mission. I bet it's taken 14 months. Uh, I hope this mission has brought you a little bit of everything you were seeking. This mission represents a huge pa uh, passion of mine. At this point, if you are not aware, I am a Star Trek Online social media role player. You can follow me at Admiral Aaron's Exploits on Twitter at Stow Admiral Aaron. I look forward to your feedback and see you around the Trek universe. And as a memory of his father, Mr. Cross. All right. Wow, that is awesome. So um, if you plan on doing, uh, running some some Foundry missions, some good storylines, uh, Admiral Aaron does have some good ones. Uh, start off with a Drift variance and then Redacted 13. That's the first season. And then the second season is um, Invictus and Extinction. So all of are pretty amazing. Um, he's done some, some truly... Uh, magician work I would say um, uh, at doing some of this stuff and he's even cited some of the uh, Star Trek uh, episodes and uh, found uh, and the Star Trek online things as well uh, that uh, that has gone into this mission so um, that is it for me thank you for watching live long and prosper and we'll see you out there Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to see future videos, please click on the subscribe button. Be sure to click on the bell icon as well so you can be notified when I upload. Also, be sure to rate, share, and comment on this video. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you.